Night vision is awesome. It's everywhere. TV shows. War on terror, baby. War on terror. Movies. <laughs> video games. Hands up! Police, get down! More video games. But it's expensive. Let me introduce a potential solution. My style is the bomb, the bomb, the dang, the dang, the dang, the dang. First, we need to find solution and I will explain exactly the role I see this technology filling. I'm going to strictly put these under the recreational use. I'm not hunting Osama, I hunt hogs and coyotes, okay? So what I need in night vision is a lot different from what those guys need. So we'll go over the details, tech specs, pop up some comparisons, and we'll end the video with what I think of these and are they worth it. Starting with the specs, we'll toss them up on the screen right here. The entire system is modular, so you can start with a bino and end up building out panos. They all come with a hard case, user manuals, battery packs, power cable, and everything you need to run it on a helmet. So in the DNV9 series, it's essentially the same tech you can find in some security cameras. Personally, what I found is they work great in most cases when the moon's out. There is some definite loom, and they work exceptionally well with supplemented IR light, which in most cases, I'm going to be hunting with that. There is a lag, it's hardly noticeable when you're moving, but there is a serious graininess to the picture that you will not see on traditional night vision. There's no BSing anyone. The DNV9s do not beat actual night vision. It is currently uncomparable. Whereas the Gen 1s, there was a huge difference in you essentially needed to supplement it with IR light to run it at night. These Gen 2s, you do not. Um, like I said, with the moon, with some loom in the sky, you can see things pretty easily. Shadows are pretty distinct under them and everything, and really I have no complaints. Like I said, I'm hunting with these. I, I mean, you could play airsoft with them, but uh, there's no peer-on-peer -peer fight where I can't be using an IR light. The coyotes don't care. As mentioned earlier, I mean, I do see a place for these and I think there is a spot for them in the market um, and I've used them in many such cases. So if you like hunting at night, air predator, hunter, you just like night vision, but you don't have buddies who are willing to drop serious coin on actual night vision, then this is a seriously good option. Either getting a mono or a bino in letting them play with it, and you finally can take one of your buddies out to go hunting with you at night without seriously breaking the bank. I mean, I'm a big hunter, so most of my references are gonna be to hunting, supplying people with this when we're hunting, so on and so forth, but really any other recreational activity outside at night, such as airsoft, I think these definitely have a place. Again, I don't hunt terrorists, and you probably don't either. Are the DNV9 Gen 2s something to use by the pros? No, 
but in most cases I don't need to give a friend who has never used night vision in the first place a tool that's used to hunt ISIS, simply because of the obvious risk and cost. So what are my conclusions on the DNV9s and Hoplite? I definitely see a place for them in the market in the recreational space. The DNV9s are a great stepping stone into NVGs. I could also see someone owning a pair of these simply to introduce someone to night vision. I'm not talking about looking at the stars, but actually taking them out and doing a recreational activity at night with them. There isn't a huge cost and the risk is very minimal. You can't damage these tubes, you can't blow them out, and they aren't expensive. Let me know in the comments if you think these would be worth it and if you'd see yourself in a pair of them.